In this video, we're going to go over adding avatars to your website. This is great for adding personality to your site for your users. And in this particular case, it's going to be backed by Gravatar. To get started, we're going to use the Django avatar package. So we're just going to do a pip install of Django avatar. And it's going to go through its normal install process. And the next thing we're going to do is edit our settings file and add avatar to our installed apps. And with that, we're ready to start using it. If we'll open up our URLs file, we need to add avatar to our URLs and we need to go ahead and include the URLs from the avatar package. With that said and done, let's go ahead and open up a template and start using it. So if we'll open up our base template, at the very top, we'll just go ahead and put load avatar tags. This will initialize all the tags that we need for our avatar. Then we'll go down to above our content, and if the user is authenticated, we're just gonna do the avatar command and pass it a user. This is going to output the avatar for the current user. For our next step, we're gonna go ahead and open up another template. We're gonna open up the index page template, and we're simply going to add a link to, the to be able to change your avatar change your avatar as the phrase, and then we're just gonna use the URL, the named URL of avatar change. So with all that, let's go ahead and see about actually seeing our avatars in action. If we'll refresh the page that we're on, you'll see that the avatar shows up. I haven't uploaded an avatar, but it's using my Gravatar to pull in instead. If we'll go ahead and log out and log in as a different user, in this case, test user, and go back to the home page, you'll see there's a different avatar. This is the avatar that was uploaded for this user. If we do change avatar, you can see this is a blank HTML page that has almost nothing in it, so you can style it how you need it, or you can look at it as an example of how to implement yours. But as you can see at the very top, we have current avatar that, that this user has available, and then we have choices. These are the ones that the users have actually uploaded and can choose from to set for their default avatar. If we go ahead and upload a new avatar, you can see now we have two choices and the default one is the one that we went ahead and set. So if we go back to our index page, you can see it has changed. So let's say you have a bigger avatar than you really need and you actually want to change the size. So jump back into our base template, go down to where we call the avatar. If we just pass in a pixel size after our user, then it'll actually produce a avatar of a 30 by 30 image. If we refresh, there we go, we have our 30 by 30 avatar. So you can set it to whatever size that you wanna set it to. I recommend taking a look at it. It's This package is super easy to integrate and can save you a lot of time from trying to implement your own.